Hello everyone and welcome to your dance taster session before you join Harris Garrett Academy in September. I'm your dance teacher Miss Baker Wells and I'm going to be taking you through some ballet work today. We're going to start with our warm up. All of the actions are going to be spoken by me and they're also going to appear on the screen. If at any point you need to pause the video then go ahead and do that. Do not worry. We're going to start off with marching in time to the music today. Now we're going to change that marching into running on the spot. Now we're going to do the lunge tap the floor. So we do our side ones where we step out to the side and tap the floor in the middle with our hand and our forward ones we're going to reach forward and tap the floor in front of us so we're going to do two to the side and then two forwards we do right left forward forward so right left forward with one leg and forward with the other okay let's keep going You're doing amazing so far. What we're now going to do is we're going to do something that I call stars to the walls. So we're going to do eight star jumps facing the front, eight star jumps to the side, eight star jumps to the back, and eight star jumps to the final side. So we do eight to the front, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we turn to the side. Keep going, you're doing amazing. Well done, you've made it through probably the hardest part of the warm up. Now we're going to start doing some stretches. So we're going to start by moving our head from side to side, okay? Follow along as we go. We're going to focus on our head to start with. So side to side to start, and then we'll start making it a bit more interesting. Now you're going to start putting your ear to your shoulder, nice and slowly. Another one, chin to your chest, then up to the sky. Make sure you don't bend your head back too far to crunch your neck. And then we're gonna just rotate our head all the way around side to side, ear to ear. Don't move your head back, and then we're gonna start rolling our shoulders backwards. Now draw some circles with your elbows, making them nice and big, and then reaching up with straight arms, drawing lots of big circles. Well done. We're now going to do that going forwards. Now with our elbows. And with our arms. Awesome job. Try to get your arms swinging one one way, one the other way. Requires a bit of thinking, but I know you can do it. If you're thinking, I actually have no clue how Miss is doing this, start with one arm going backwards and one arm going forwards. We're next going to think about our side, so what I want you to do is give your legs a little bit of a shake. Make sure your legs are wide apart, reach one arm up and over. You want to imagine that from your tummy button down you are stuck in cement so you're not wiggling around. Reach round, stretch your back out, all the way around in a big circle and then we're going to go again with the other arm. So reach up and over the other way this time. We're next going to start thinking about our hips and our knees so I want you to turn your feet out and get into a nice squat position just so we can start opening out our hips and then hands forward to start thinking about getting onto the floor. Uh, our favourite bit, give your legs a shake and get onto the floor. We're going to put our feet in a position that I like to call frog, holding onto your ankles, not your feet as shown there. Give your knees a little bit of wiggle and then see if you can try and touch your nose to your feet.
Nice job everyone, I promise that one will get easier. Pull your knees together and hold them to your toes and stretch your legs out just so we can stretch the back of your legs. If you want a bit of a next challenge, try to get your nose onto your knees just to really stretch yourselves out. Give your legs a wiggle and then we're going to stretch out our back. That's the last thing we're going to do. So cross your elbow over your knee to turn around and face the back and don't forget to do both sides. Awesome job, I'm really, really impressed. Well done for keeping up with this warm up. It was quite a long one, but I definitely think you are ready to start doing some dancing. Well done everybody, let's get going. So at Harris Garrett Academy, we study lots of different dance styles, but the one you start with is ballet. So today we're going to learn about the ballet arms and ballet feet positions ready for when you start in September. To start, make sure you get a chair, because we're going to pretend this chair is our ballet bar all the way throughout the lesson. And we're going to start by learning about our ballet arms, okay? So we're going to start off with first position. And you need to imagine that you are holding a gigantic beach ball in towards your tummy, okay? Pull your tummies in, use your core muscles to control yourself, and make sure your arms are a little bit away away from you. Arms shouldn't be dead straight, they should be nice and curved. In order to perfect those ballet hands I've got, hold your hands up, tuck your thumbs into the sides of your hands and push your middle fingers forward. So when you turn to the side like I have here, you should be able to see your middle fingers away from your hands. You then need to turn your hands inwards so they're facing that beach ball sort of position, making sure that your middle fingers are in line with your tummy buttons. That is the perfect ballet hands. So that is first position. Second position, you've got to imagine you've got two friends either side of you and you're reaching around and holding onto their shoulders. Think about those ballet hands and notice that the arms aren't right behind you, they're slightly in front of you. So if you look here, this is how we move into second. We move up and then out to the side. Give that a good practice before we move on to third position. So third position is one arm in front and one arm to the side. Again, both arms are slightly curved, so as you can see here, we've got one arm in front and one arm to the side. And don't forget, you can do that the other way. So you can have either the left arm or the right arm in front, depending on which way you're facing in a ballet. So here we are in first position. We're gonna move up to second position. And then we're gonna move to third position. So this is third position with our right hand and third position with our left, okay. So now we're gonna move on to fourth position. So it's a little bit like third, but instead of having one arm forward, we have one arm up, okay. So still got that nice curve look that we've got with our hands. So there we go, we've got fourth position with our right arm up there. Notice we've still got our arms a little bit in front of us, not totally up, not totally to the side. So we have fourth position there with our right arm up and fourth position with our left arm up, okay? Making sure our arms are nice and curved, thinking about our posture, making sure that our hands are a little bit in front, not directly to the side, because that's gonna really hurt. So as you can see here, fourth and fourth. So we're almost through, we're now into fifth position, or also known as encoron, which means crown-like. This, we have both our arms up, you will also notice that from the side, you can see that my hands are actually a little bit forward. They're not directly over my head. That's so it's nice and easy on my shoulders and doesn't hurt my back, okay? So that is my arms in fifth position. So we have first, moving to second, to third, to third with the other arm, up to fourth, fourth with the other arm, and up to fifth or on coron. Super, we're now gonna move on to feet, okay? So those are our arm positions. Now we're looking at our feet. So hold on to your pretend bar. Mine's a chair today. Let's talk about first position. So you need to put your feet together and you need to turn them outwards so they make a little bit of a pizza slice, okay? You have gotta make a little triangle with your feet. That is first position, making sure your heels are together. As you can see from the front, so now my feet are together and then I turn them out to make my little pizza slice, okay? I've put my arms in first position as well so you can see what they look like. So here you go, feet together, first position and then we turn out our feet. See my little triangle? That's first position with your feet, okay? So we've had first position with our arms, first position with our feet. Now we're looking at second position, also known as a la seconde, okay? Remember, everything's in French. So with our feet in second, our feet are like first, just wider apart, okay? 
So they are starting off in first, so we swing our feet out to make our pizza slice, and then we make one leg further, further apart than the other one, okay? That is our second position, or a la seconde. So watch, from first, we just slide our foot out to second, making it nice and big. So it's like first position, but just apart, okay? Nice and simple. So we've got first position, and we've just done second position. Third position, we start with our feet in first, and then we slowly move one heel so it's in line with halfway to our foot, okay? So it's not toe to heel, it's more heel to the middle of our foot, okay? That one's a little bit more difficult, so I understand if it's going to take a bit more time for us to get our heads around it. So it's easier if you start in first, and then you move one foot slightly forward. So they're still connected, but one's a little bit further in front than the other. So have a look at it from a different angle. So have a look at it from here. So this, we're in second right now, and we're going to move to third. So we've got our foot in first, and we just slowly move it further forward. Still connected to the foot, but just slightly in front. Okay? So that is our third position. So we've done first, second, third. Fourth position, we've got two options. So there's something we call a closed fourth, which is when we're in third, we just move our leg straight forward. Okay? So it's like third position, but separated out. Okay? So we've got one foot in front, one foot behind, both turned out. Open fourth is when instead of it being directly in front, we move it slightly to the side so we can see both feet, okay? So when we have closed fourth, we can only usually see one and a bit of a foot, but when we're doing open fourth, we can move our foot out and we can see both feet, okay? So let's try and get that from a slightly different angle so you can see how that works. So here we are, this is us in closed fourth, so we can only see sort of one and a half feet, but when we move to open fourth, we can see both feet nice and easy. You can actually see there's a little bit more of a gap there, okay? So that is open fourth and closed fourth. The last position is called fifth position. Now, it's not like on Quran or anything. It's just called fifth position. And it's like third, but we have the entire of one foot hiding the other. And we do that by putting the front foot heel connected to the back foot's toe, okay? So here we are in first sliding our foot along into fifth position. So my heel is touching my toe, okay? Let's have a look at that from a different angle. So here we are in fifth. So as you can see, my heel, my right heel there is touching my left toe, okay? And that's this way with the other foot as well, okay? Excellent job, everyone. Really, really well done. So now we've done our warm up our arms and our feet. We're now going to have a bit of a stretch and start our cool down. So making sure that you're breathing in nice and deeply and stretching over to the side. Really stretch out your sides as you're doing this. You had a lot of work holding up your arms, so make sure you're giving yourself a good stretch. Make sure you're moving your head from side to side, really pulling out on the side of your neck, nice and gentle. Don't need to do anything too aggressive. We're gonna stretch out the front of our arms like we've just discovered. A lot of ballet is about holding our arms in the right positions. So make sure we're stretching them out by bringing them across the front of our chest and then pulling our elbows behind our head. So make sure we're stretching our arms from both directions, making sure you're doing your lefts and your right. We're gonna stretch forward into a lunge, so keeping the heels on the floor, bending the front knee and straightening the back. We're gonna stretch out the backs of our legs. We use these today as we were working on our leg and our feet positions, so make sure we give those a really good stretch. And then what I want you to do is I want you to roll forward, touch the floor, Take a giant step back and then uncurl yourself. Really, really well done, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you in September.